Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video will be a collab featuring my fellow YouTube sisters and we will basically be doing a video showing you all our YouTube setup. So this is gonna be from what camera we use, where do we record, lighting, backdrops, all that good stuff. So if you are interested, please continue to watch and make sure that you also click down in the description box and check out the other ladies video. All of their links will be down below. Without further ado, let's just get to the video. This video is for those who want to start a YouTube channel and don't know where to begin. I know when I first started, I was just like, you know what, I'm going to set my phone up right here and just hit record. I didn't think about the lighting, backdrops, none of that because I was so new to it. I was just ready to jump into it and get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the backdrop. So I never like actually bought a backdrop before I used to use, don't laugh, but I used to use um, sheets, covers, <laughs> shower curtains just to get a decent background. I got this backdrop from Hobby Lobby and I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I will link it down below in the description box. So this is just like, I don't know, it's kind of like a tablecloth material. I was like so torn in between the two. I didn't know should I get like cotton fabric or I, I, I still don't know, I'm still learning, but I'm gonna go and do more background shopping, backdrop shopping, whatever. So next, what we're gonna talk about is lighting, of course. Lighting is everything. And when I tell you, I did not really, I wasn't big on lighting, I didn't know. Like you're supposed to have some good lighting in order to have a bomb video. But now I understand because I have seen like the huge transition from my old videos to my current videos. Like the lighting was just all over the place and I'm still working with the lighting. So me personally, I do not own any ring lights, any box lighting or none of that. So I just opt out for natural lighting. So basically I sit right in front of my window and record and I feel like this is the best lighting. Sometimes, however, I do use my lamp and it's kind of dirty, but I do use this sometimes, but I don't really like the effect that it gives to my videos. But yeah, I use my lamp sometimes if I don't have good day lighting. How to set up your camera or phone or whatever you're using to record. So I, just bought a tripod from Amazon and again I will link down the price and the um, link in the description box so you can know where to get a tripod from but this tripod is amazing however it did break and I was a little upset because it broke the first day that I got it so that really pissed me off but anyways um yeah so I'm gonna show you how I set up my tripod and also where I film. Okay, so this is the tripod right here. It's very long and you can even shorten the legs by using these notches here. And as you can see, I have a knife right there because it doesn't hold itself up. That's where it broke it. So I have to put a knife there to keep it at level with my head but yes this is a tripod and you have knobs to turn it and to twist this and I mean, you could just play around with this tripod and I really like this and it was very cheap it was not expensive at all so yeah okay so I'm just trying to give you guys a better view of my backdrop and where I actually sit at so I sit in this little <laughs> chair here. Now, if I am filming makeup videos, I like to set my makeup stand here. And then there's my tripod there with the mirror. And of course, the daylighting. So that is the setup. So usually before I go in on my phone, and zoom in to fit just this frame of me this is what it looks like in the background now this little thing here that's holding my background this is actually 
bunk bed um stands i don't know what it's called but yes y'all i am a college student struggling so i have to make it do what it do you know what i'm saying so that's that and in order to get just this frame i like to zoom in so no one sees these raggedy things no longer see the brown type okay so next what we're going to talk about is what do i use to film so many people ask me this and to be honest i use my iphone 6. like i said before <laughs> i am still new with this youtube thing so i don't really know what camera to get and stuff like that so i'm still working and learning and trying to plan all around that but until then my iphone 6 is doing an amazing job and i do use the back camera too okay guys so i did go take a little snack break because i got hungry but i'm back and the last thing that i want to talk about is things that i use to edit my videos so me i'm very simple when it comes to editing i only use two apps which is imovie and cute cut pro and you could download both of those on iphones so there are many editing softwares apps websites out there that you can use but i feel like if you are if you are beginning imovie would probably be the best thing to start with because it's very straightforward it tells you everything that you need to do and it is the bomb.com if you want to add like pictures and other stuff in your videos then that's where i like to use cute cut pro and i believe that i paid 5.99 for that to remove the watermark from the app so yeah and if you guys would like to see a video of how i edit my videos please comment that down below and i will do a separate video on that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys learned some tips and tricks from, from myself and the other women that's doing this collab if you have any questions please feel free to comment them down below and i will definitely get back to you all love you guys see you next time